beautiful people welcome to my youtube channel my name is miss linda a special needs educator and a speech and language therapist you can call me miss linda so on this video we are going to look at treatments for children who have developmental delays so grab yourself some juice some tea a book and a pen and put down some treatment procedures or approaches to help or to support children who have developmental, uh, developmental delays. And yes, we are having Nazra again, again, you know. She's so amazing. She's so, she's this kind of a person who has, is too detailed when it comes to children and information about children. They know you like her because she's so detailed and she's so good with what she does. So Nazra, can you introduce yourself on this Thank video? you, Linda. So I'm Nazra. I'm a speech and language interventionist. Uh, I've been working in Kenya for five years now. I have a background in genetics and a master's degree in global health. And I see children and adults with various disabilities. Thank you, thank you. Now take us through the treatment approaches. Okay. We're here, the first video took us through some few things in there about the mental disease. The second video look told, told us these are the signs or these are the symptoms. These are the red flags to look out to when they're uh, looking at developmental delays. Correct. Now we are here on this video. How do we treat these things? Or how? Okay, take us through. Okay. So first I would like to say there is no medication yeah. for developmental delays. Yes. A lot of us uh, may be living in denial mm -hmm. and think that there is a chemical way out of this. But there isn't, yeah. unfortunately. Okay. Okay. Yeah. There is no one fixed pill mm. that is going to get uh, a baby through developmental delay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But there is a rehabilitative process. Okay. okay. Yes. So we are looking at a multidisciplinary approach. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Where we need a special needs educator. Yes. Where we will need a speech therapist. Yes. We will need an occupational therapist. Mm -hmm and a physiotherapist yes. and our pediatrician or yes. our expert doctor yes. Yes. who's going to head this team. Yes. Now, depending on the issue, yeah. we may not need all of these specialists, yeah. okay? Yeah. But say we're looking at cerebral palsy yeah. and the body is flaccid, yes. the neck is not coming up. Yes. This is where we will have our physio come in yes. for muscle strengthening mm -hmm. and uh, oh, neural okay. stimuli, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. Um, if we are looking at a language delay mm -hmm. or a stammer, mm -hmm. for example, mm -hmm. or a voice disorder, mm -hmm. we are looking for our speech therapist yes. to help out. Yeah. If we are looking at motor skills, mm -hmm. a child cannot hold a pen, mm -hmm. cannot kick a ball, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, cannot hold too. their milk bottle, mm -hmm. cannot move uh, a spoon from down here to yes. their mouth, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. then we are going to need our occupational therapist. Yes. yes okay. Yeah. Um, so there is no medication for developmental delays. Yeah, Our yeah. treatment involves therapy, yes. rehabilitative therapy. Yes, and if you think your child might not be, the, the, the speech can, might be affected by hearing, you have the audiologist. Yes, exactly. Yes. So if we are having a hearing impairment, yes. we have our ENTs yes. to make the diagnosis. Yes. Is it fluid buildup? Mm. Is the cochlea affected? Mm. Um, do we need to drain the ear? Yes. You yeah. have your ENT yeah. and you have your audiologist who yes. is the person who will um, do yeah, the hearing the tests yeah. and the audiogram. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So there is also stem cells, yeah. which is a new therapy mm -hmm. that has come out in the past 10 years or so. Yes. So, yeah. and I've had a few people who've tried it. Yes, but uh, let's not go there. <laughs> On stem cell, let's, <laughs> let's not go there. Maybe the effects are minimal. Yes. The effects can, are minimal. We can um, we can have a whole video discussion on yes, that. Yes, we eh? can. But for this specific video, let's not go there. Okay. Yes. So rehabilitative yeah. processes. Mm -hmm. We're looking at a lot of color. We're yes. looking at 3D images. Yeah. So if you give someone, if you give a child with uh, special needs a yeah. book that is flat yes. and black and white yes they're not even going to look at that yeah. they're probably going to just take the piece of paper and it tear it away yes so yes. we're looking at lots of bright colors we're yes. looking at textures as well ah, yes yeah where yes. we have sensory processing yes we, we like texture yes children with autism also have um 
uh, sort of uh, sensory hyperactiveness mm -hmm. where they will probably not like certain textures yes, yes. but this is a safe texture to yeah. have yes. maybe they might not like slimy mm -hmm. or wet mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. we can use something that's safer like yes. this yeah okay yeah. Big letters, big letters usually works. Yes, if you're yes. going to give children uh, small letters, they're not going to be interested in that. Yes. So lots of color, teach them using lots of visuals. Yes. We have a lot of language apps yes. as well, Linda. Yeah. So, you know, animations. Yeah. But please do not get them addicted to watching yeah. too much stuff. Yeah. Because yeah. then they are going to focus on their tablet and then they will become obsessive. Actually, like me, if you come for speech and the child is so addicted to screen, I'll tell you, can we reduce it? Yes. Can we, we reduce it even to your child just watching, just on being on screen time for sometimes even for only 10 minutes in a, yes. in a day? It, it like becomes an addiction. Yes. Because I, as a speech therapist, I don't think children w are meant to just w sit down and just watch the screen. No, no. I believe the way to develop their speech and language is to be able to interact. Interact, So exactly. what if we, we are taking away the screen time, then introduce more interaction. Exactly. You know? Play because skills, yes. pretend play, yes. get a doll. Because again, also parents are so used to giving their children and their, f their child is so used every, like the whole day they're here on their phone, yes. or they're here with their screen, or yes. they're here no, doing something that, That's actually one of the worst things you can do to yes. them. Because the brain is uh, separated into two yeah. lobes, the receptive and the expressive. Yes. So although they are getting that feedback and developing the receptive centers, mm -hmm. their expressive centers are not developing. They're missing out. So yeah. I will talk to you mm. and you responding, yes. that will be your expressive lobe development. And that's how communication should. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. I know it's very easy for parents to give their children technology while they're cooking or while they're doing other things. That is fine. That is fair enough. But don't um, let them use screen time as an excuse to not do other things. Yeah. Do more of interactions. Let your child do more interactive therapy. You have you have easy three D letters like these. You know, take this and uh, put this in the center, and then put objects that start with W around it, and then give them positive reinforcement when they get something correct. Oh, this is a watch. Well done. Give them a high five or a fist pump or an object that is you know of high preference, a toy that they may like. You know, so mm. use use that strategy to motivate them to learn language. Mm. Okay. Okay. So you use what is around. Yes, you mm -hmm. can you can you know get your W and do a watch or water. Mm. Uh, you can do your D D for dog or D for doll or D for duck. And when they are able to verbalize, give them something that they like. Make a star chart, for example. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well done. You'll get. One star, you'll yeah. get at the end of 10 stars, maybe you give them candy or uh, take them out for pizza, you know. Something. Don't make it a habit though, but because yeah, they, they, then they will work only for the gifts, for the but, gifts. but do a weekly thing to encourage them and, and then, to motivate yeah. them for yeah. sure. Yeah, so for treatment approaches, there are specific people go to the, you have given you the specific people, the specialists, yes. the most disciplinary people you work with. Definitely. Go to the, Make sure you consult your professional. Professionals. Don't yeah. just don't, even if you go to a clinic, for example, if you come to myself or to Linda and your child is too young, say they're a year old or a year and a half, we will guide you through what you can do at home and do periodic reviews. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, take four weeks, try this, this, this at home for an hour each day and then come back and we will review. So it's never uh, too early, but to go to a professional, but of course, the way we will uh, interact with the child will be different, whether it's on a one-on-one -on -one basis or giving parental advice and counseling. But please, please see a professional. Yeah, it's it's good to see a professional. Yes. So depending on the challenges that your child has, yes. it's you to go and seek those professionals. Correct. And if it's your child has issues with learning, Dyslexia, dyscalculia, and dysgraphia, please find a special needs yes, teacher. Yes, again, your special, special needs, needs teacher, teacher, your speech yeah. and language therapist can help with yeah. that. Someone who can understand exactly the challenges or the gaps or the issues that concern your child. For sure. So what Nazra you are saying as we wind the video is that always get the right specialist for your child. Exactly. And you how know, we do they get to know this is the right specialist? 
your pediatrician should be the first person to guide you. To guide you. Yes. But of course, again, we are in the very modern age where yes. we can Google the um, professionals that we need yeah. or we can get. Yes. Um, and, you know, you can just write a list yeah, yes, yes. of uh, the issues your child is having and it will say, okay, go but see your physiotherapist. But it's very advisable to just get to a doctor. Yes, because I know for sure. Since you gave birth to that child, there's someone who has been following up that yes. child. Yes. Yes. So always Some parents do them. have people who do not follow up with mm -hmm. their children. Yeah. And, uh, you know, once they're done with their vaccinations, they'll mm -hmm. be like, now we don't need yes. to go. Yeah. Um, but but someone either in the healthcare yes. uh, fraternity yes. or the education fraternity yes. can definitely pick up. Yeah. Our teachers today, even our mainstream teachers are, are now educated they are, yes. now in they are so picking aware. up, yeah. you know, yeah. uh, if a child has a problem. Yeah, like, so um, like the other day, there's a, a regular a teacher who send a child to get a um, diagnosed or assessed for developmental delay. Yes, and we're having a lot of that so now. So now, now it's coming up. Yes. I've seen even nurses, the doctors. Nurses, do nurses are very good yes, also. Uh, yeah, they're like, uh, there's very a challenge good. here. Maybe you can see a doctor. Maybe exactly. you can see a, a pediatric. Maybe you can see a developmental doctor. Exactly. Now these people are more aware of this developmental delay. Yes. So, oh, this is delayed here. But again, we don't encourage anxiety. Don't be too anxious. Yes, don't be too uh, anxious. Yes. Uh, yeah. But also don't wait for that one channel of communication yes. that oh, my doctor has not recommended anything. Yes, 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 if yes. you still feel, do some digging. Yes, yes, um, yes. We're all here to sure. help. Even if you come to Linda or myself and we say that, the, you know, this is not our forte or this is not something we will de deal with, we can send you to the next specialist yes. that can help. Yeah, so sure. definitely take a few ideas and make an informed choice and informed decision. From different individuals. From different individuals, sure. from different professionals. Sure, sure. Thanks so much, Nazra. Thanks for taking us Thank through you, the treatment approaches and people to approach when it's come to children who have developmental delays. We deeply appreciate. Thank you, Linda. And we're looking forward to having you in near future. Thank you. It was very yes. good to be here. Yes. And I know for sure the viewers as well appreciate your presence. Thank on you. On my YouTube channel. Thank you so much, viewers. I also don't take you for granted for always watching my videos, sharing my videos, you know commenting you know all the love that i get on my youtube channel i don't take it for granted thank you thank you so much now we talk more about disability we educate people so the most thing you can do to me is to make sure you share this video with everybody you know even your enemies even your friends enemies like i mean you share this video with everybody you know thank you so much for watching see you very soon on the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.